Today on WTF, we are showing you how to extend the shelf life of your breads using encapsulated potassium sorbet. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we help you transform food in your kitchen. I'm Janie. And I'm Hannah. And today we're talking all about encapsulated potassium sorbate. And this is an ingredient that is really great for preventing molding in baked goods. So today we're going to show you how to use it and how much to use in order to extend your shelf life. So remember, stick around for our weekly giveaway, subscribe, because this is actually a two-part episode. The second part will be coming out in a few weeks about how do you keep your bread fresh. And I think that's kind of where I want to start, which is that when we talk about bread staling, there's really only two things happening. So one would be the staling, which is that it's getting harder, it's losing moisture, it's drying out. And then the second part is the molding, where it's growing mold, obviously getting bacteria and going bad and becoming unsafe to eat. So the potassium sorbate, that we're talking about today is going to address the issue of molding. It's not going to keep your bread from going stale. So stick around in a few weeks and we'll show you how to help with that particular issue. Now, Hannah, do you want to walk through a little bit of the demo on how do you use encapsulated potassium sorbate? Because I know if you're a home baker, sometimes people are worried about you know, messing up their recipe. They're like, oh no, you know, I've got this process down. What else do I have to do now? And now, you know, like as you're kind of talking about that, we'll kind of talk a little bit more about the encapsulated potassium sorbate itself. Yeah, great. So for our demo today, it's going to be super simple on just how to make a basic bread loaf. So in the mixing bowl right now, we have our flour, yeast, and salt. And so one of the things that's cool about this encapsulated potassium sorbate is that you can use it in yeasted doughs because since it's encapsulated, it's not gonna start working and it's not gonna prohibit the yeast from doing its job. So we're gonna go ahead and we have 0.4% uh, of encapsulated potassium sorbate here and we're using that by the flour weight. So we are gonna go in and so we have our encapsulated potassium sorbate added into our dry ingredients. And we are gonna go ahead and give these a good stir just to combine everything. And like any normal dough, we are gonna add in our water. And it's important to note that we're not separately hydrating our encapsulated potassium sorbate because that will break it down. And if the potassium sorbate is broken down, it's gonna act on the yeast and not allow it, it's gonna kill the yeast off. So it's not gonna be able to properly rise the dough. All right, and see we have our dough coming together, really basic. All right, and at this point, you would let your dough rise for two hours or so, knead it, put it in the oven, and you're gonna have some long-lasting bread. Yeah, so we wanted to start with this demo to show you exactly how easy it is. This is not going to change your recipe at all. You can add it to any of your favorite bread recipes. And what was that usage range for the encapsulated potassium sorbate? It's 0.1 to 0.4% by the flour weight. Yeah. yeah. So one, one of the things that we wanted to see when we had the sample is we wanted to be able to test what exactly is the difference between using 0.1 to 0.4%. So we have baked a control loaf with no potassium sorbate and then four different loaves with, you know, ranging starting from 0.1 and ending at 0.4%. And what we did was basically we just took a picture of these breads every single day and we tracked its progress to see when they started molding. Um, and as you can see, we're gonna do a little picture in picture right here and you can kind of see the progress of that. Hannah, do you have the dates on like approximately when each loaf started molding? Yeah, so our control loaf, it started molding at about nine days. So just a little over a week. And that then we had our 0.1% loaf and that started molding at a little bit over two weeks. And if we go all the way up, our 0.4% loaf 
didn't start molding until over two months. So that really shows that that 0.4% is really acting on the mold and prohibiting any growth. So we'd probably go ahead and recommend 0.1% by the flower weight for customers that are more home cooks mm -hmm. looking just to keep their bread loaves fresh for two weeks or so, but maybe more on the commercial side for the 0.4%. Yeah, because keep in mind that just because it's not molding does not mean that it's not going stale. So you can have a two months loaf that's hard mm -hmm. as a rock, it yeah. won't have any mold on it, and that's usually not what you're looking for. Um, the other thing that I really want to mention about this is if you've been watching WTF for a while, you know that earlier in the year, or maybe last year, I don't remember, we had introduced regular potassium sorbate, and you might be wondering what the difference is between the two. And we keep saying the word encapsulated, and what that means is that the potassium sorbate is being coated with a kind of a fatty, a lipid outer shell, and that's what's protecting it, or I should say protecting the yeast from the potassium sorbate. And as you put it into the oven to bake, that lipid outer layer, it's going to melt, enabling the potassium sorbate to act. So that's kind of the main difference. And if you're wondering if I have a recipe, which one should I pick and if I'm trying to enhance the shelf life, if your product has yeast, you definitely need an encapsulated potassium sorbate. If it doesn't, you can use the regular potassium sorbate for most other applications. Then that's kind of the main difference between the two, the usage ratios, will vary a lot, um, oh, sorry, a little bit, depending on application. Usually we do recommend starting at 0.1%, because again, it is a preservative. You don't need to use more than what you actually want. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments below and enter to win this week's giveaway. And this week's giveaway, if you might have already guessed it, will be a bag of the encapsulated potassium sorbate. And to enter to win below, let us know what your favorite bread is. Oh, and by the way, if you're gluten-free, as long as it's yeasted, you can still use this. I know someone out there is wondering. So same thing for, I don't think keto bread has any yeast in it, not that I've seen, but so, yeah, don't use that for keto. But again, anything with yeast, this is a great application. Let us know, you know, what kind of baked goods are your favorites that you would use this product in, in a bag. And until next week, from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie. And I'm Hannah. 